up everybody it's denny and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing another college advice type video and this one is called the things that you should bring and the things that you shouldn't bring because i was a victim of this i bought to school like freshman year a lot of unnecessary stuff that i don't need and a lot of the stuff i still have and it's still sitting in my room and i'm a junior and that's pretty bad but i just want to let you guys know like the things that you absolutely should bring and things that you should kind of avoid bringing or try not to bring as much of the certain stuff so if you're interested to see what i have to say Let so i know that video. school is ready to start back i know some people go back to school next week and some people go to school in a couple weeks i personally start school on the 28th so i have a little bit to get everything i need to get but I really don't need to really get anything now because I, if you guys don't know, I live in a like apartment off campus. So I've been in this apartment for a year and almost a month. So pretty much everything I have in here is what I really need. I'm in the process of reacting, redecorating my room. That's about it. But I have had experiences with living in a dorm and bringing a lot of stuff that I should have brought and bringing and not bringing certain stuff that I needed so I just want to let you guys know so y'all make the same mistake I did because yeah so hmm, my mom called me. so I wrote a list on my phone oh yeah look I got the new iPhone 7 it's so pretty this is my case I need a new phone but yeah okay so on the things that you should bring, like I recommend, like absolutely bring. And the first one is shower shoes. Now, my college, we have like suite bathrooms. So in some of the dorms, it'll be like four people sharing a bathroom. So it'll be you and your roommate and then your two suite mates. And then um, we have um, dorms on campus that, you know, it's only you and your roommate sharing the bathroom. But I know a lot of other universities and big universities, they have like community um, bathrooms and like showers and stuff. But even if you don't have a community bathroom, even if you um, share it with your sweet mates and even if you have a bathroom to yourself, I still recommend shower shoes because you never know like what people has been in the shower. You don't know. You don't know how the people clean and you can clean, 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 but you just really don't know. Like it's been like a thousand people in that dorm room. So shower shoes are a must. I had them. I don't have them now since I'm in my apartment. And I know it's kind of like contradicting myself because I know people been in this apartment too, but it's, it's different. It's different. Trust me. But shower shoes, please bring shower shoes. I don't care if, no, if somebody told you don't bring them, bring them because I have um, heard of some people getting like really, really sick from being in the, like the showers like the community showers like the sweet showers getting like all sorts of little sicknesses and when you're in college getting sick is pretty easy because there's so many people in like one space and around you so yeah um the next thing mm, the next thing is a shower caddy um these are necessary even if you well not so much if you're in the bathroom with like your roommate which is like one person like you and the, um your roommate i said that too many times but anyway if it's just uh you're in the room and it's just you and your roommate sharing the bathroom you really don't need a shower caddy but if you're in like a community bathroom obviously in a sweet bathroom you don't want to leave all your stuff in like the shower and the bathroom and stuff so a shower caddy is, comes in handy they have all different kinds of shower caddies different colors i wish i had mine out so i can like show y'all i still have mine even though i don't really need it anymore but it's very it comes in handy because you can carry all like your shampoo your conditioner your body wash your rag like everything in that one little thing so you need a shower caddy caddy and the next thing i said is multiple sheets because i i think i bought like like somebody's outside yelling i think i bought maybe like two sets of sheets but sometimes you don't want to be like washing all the time and like you have to pay to wash so just i just recommend bringing like as many sheet sets as you can because you need to like change them pretty often and wash them when you can because you don't want to be in that position where you have like two sheets two sets of sheets and one set is dirty and the other set is dirty and you don't have no sheets in your bed like that's really bad i ain't never experienced that but you should 
and then you know like the common stuff comforter sets pillows like stuff like that um i made the mistake of buying one pillow for my bed and that was a huge mistake um when i actually got to campus and moved in and everything and i like set my bed up i was like dad and like my mom and stuff i was like how am i supposed to sleep with one pillow so i had to end up going to walmart and getting me uh, more pillows but make sure you have enough pillows because those beds aren't very comfortable you have to make them comfortable and one pillow is not gonna do it and also a mattress pad you need a mattress pad like they on my bed in my apartment is only like one little mattress like thing and it's very uncomfortable so i had to get a mattress pad like it was pretty expensive but i'm telling you it's worth it but they don't they have the ones with the twin beds that's like less expensive and you need it trust me you need it it will change your life for real okay and then i said um some storage items you need like stuff to store your stuff in so like because you don't really have a lot of space in your room and in my dorm i had like a lofted bed so my bed was up higher and i was able to put um everything under my bed but i had like bins i had crates i had um like the little plastic drawer things you really really need those things and you know, like the little cubes i have one in my room now i have the eight one but they have one that's like four and like two that you can slide on your bed and use and those are really really good so like i recommend a lot of storage stuff because yeah and then i said snacks you need snacks like even though you'll have like a meal plan and stuff and you can get snacks from like the little store or whatever or your campus or whatever you need to have snacks that you bought from home like my parents like i racked up on like noodles okay i say oodles and noodles and i know some people say ramen noodles but whatever oodles and noodles slash ramen noodles whatever um i had like the little packs that you put in water i had a lot of those um what else did i have i had a lot of stuff and i also had a mini fridge like you need a mini fridge if like you and your roommate share a mini fridge or you get your own mini fridge you need a mini fridge and i know that at my school you can rent a mini fridge for the year so if that would be like a cheaper option for you if you don't actually buy one but i ended up getting a mini fridge and it really came in handy for me so you need snacks and stuff because it might get a time where you're in your room and you don't want to go out and get something to eat and it's like late and you're really hungry if you have snacks and stuff in your refrigerator in your room and stuff you won't have to worry about going out or anything and then it'll save you some money too because i know freshman year i got tired of campus food and i ordered a lot of like pizza and everything and i spent a lot of money freshman year and i had snacks too but i didn't have the right snacks so like whenever your family come visit you or whenever you go home make sure you bring snacks back like they will change your life promise you you will need them more than you know um i said plates and bowls um you can either do like plastic plates and bowls like the disposable ones or you can do like i know at walmart they have like the plates for like 99 cent or 89 cent or something and have the bowls and the cups that match i end up getting both um i still have like a lot of the plastic plates not the disposable ones but the other ones that i still use so you need those and forks plastic forks and spoons and stuff like that and then the next thing i say you should bring is pictures of your family um i feel like this is a necessity because sometimes when you're off to school your first year it's not even your first year to be honest with you it's all through college you get homesick and you get a little down on yourself sometimes sometimes you just need little reminders of home so like pictures of your family in your room like if you're having a bad day you can just like look at the pictures and make you feel better you can bring like pictures or whatever else reminds you of your family like you got like a teddy bear that your mom got you when you were like five bring that that will help you promise because i have had a lot of like nervous breakdowns and all sorts of stuff because i just get so sad but just looking at pictures of like when i was younger and pictures of my family and everything it makes me feel kind of better 
all right so that's all i have for the things that you should bring and it's a lot of things that you need to bring and i'm pretty sure you guys already know the things that you need need to bring so i don't have to go into detail about every little thing that you need to bring but yeah so this is the things that you you should not bring now i have been i've made this mistake i legit brought all the clothes and shoes i had in my closet you do not need to bring all those clothes and shoes that you had in your closet like do not bring them because school starts in what august and by december no by november you're going home again for thanksgiving and then you're going home again for a uh, christmas break and you don't need to bring all your winter clothes and all that all that kind of stuff just i just recommend bringing like your summer clothes and bring you a little bit like a fall clothes and it also depends on what school you go to and what area you in like I said, I'm in the south, I'm in the mountains, so it gets really cold up here, like during the winters and stuff, like it'd be extremely cold, so I need coats and stuff, but I made the mistake of bringing everything and my closet was packed to capacity and like I just had so much stuff everywhere. Like just try not to bring everything, just bring like, like I said, to start off the school year, like your summer clothes, or whatever, bring a few long sleeve shirts your jeans maybe bring a pair of boots because it might get cold before you get to go home for thanksgiving and then when you go home for like thanksgiving or christmas break you switch out your summer clothes and bring your winter clothes and do do that all throughout the year like when you go home or if your parents come up or whatever the case may be just do that that's better than bringing all your clothes and having everything in your closet like i had a hot mess of closet <laughs> okay so the next thing I said, don't go overboard on storage items. I know I said bring, make sure you bring storage items, but don't go overboard because I went overboard. I have like so much storage stuff that I did not need at all. Like at all. And I still have them because like, they're pretty like kind of still brand new and stuff. But I have a lot of storage items that I didn't need. Bring enough for the amount of stuff that you have. Don't OD because you have to, you know, kind of live with all that stuff in your room for, I don't know, however long until, like, your parents come or you get to go home. And it's not really fun. Like, the room is but so small, like, so big. I mean, you can't fit, like, everything in there. You just fit whatever you can. Don't overdo it because then your room's going to be cluttered and it's going to feel like, ugh. Especially me because the dorm that I lived in, we didn't have air conditioner and it was a hot mess. Just imagine like it being hot in there and then it's like you and your roommate in there and she got all her stuff and you got all your stuff. So yeah, just don't overdo it. Just bring enough, but don't overdo it. Alright, so the next thing is don't go, don't OD on school supplies. I made a mistake as well. I didn't realize like in college you really don't need that much of school supplies like all you really need is like uh, like notebooks pencils like for me flashcards and like sticky notes because some te most teachers don't have requirements of what you need really some teachers do you have to see which like what teacher you have or whatever but you don't need like a lot of I bought so much unnecessary stuff that I didn't even use like I freaking bought like well I kind of didn't use my like coloring pencils and crayons because um my major is journalism and my minor is design appreciation and I took a lot of like like fashion related stuff and I needed stuff like that my freshman year but I didn't need it for any of my classes really some classes you might do for certain projects but you can always you know get a pack of crayons or a pack of colors and sweet need it but i bought so many notebooks and so much pencils and pens and highlighters you need highlighters actually od on highlighters because if you're like me i highlight everything and my highlighters go out fast like i can use like a pack of highlighters even like even before the semester ends all my highlighters will be gone but yeah so don't od just just get a couple notebooks, depends on how many classes you have. So if you have five classes, get five notebooks. Get a folder, just get one folder so you can keep you know everything in. Get you a pack of pencils, a pack of pens, and call it a day. Don't get all binders and this, this, that. Get you a planner too. I know freshman year they gave us a planner, but I had already bought me a planner. Because planners keep me on track. I don't know about you guys, but planners are like my life. If I didn't have my planner, 
I don't know where I would be. But yeah, just get simple stuff. Don't, I don't overdo it. You don't need that much stuff. I'm trusting you. You don't. Okay. And the next thing I have is don't bring a, um, a lot of stuff from like your high school days. And when I say that is because I, when I was in the process of packing for freshman year, I wanted to bring like my high school yearbook, um, the picture that we took at graduation, well, before graduation, like of my whole entire class. And I wanted to bring like a whole bunch of unnecessary stuff that I didn't need to bring. You really don't need to bring all of your high school stuff because to be honest with you, yeah, high school was like a good time. You had fun, you know, it was a good, I mean, if you had fun, if you liked high school, some people hated it. But if it's a part of your life that was a happy time, but you have to think about it, you're going into a new life and a new chapter, and you don't need to be bringing, like, all your high school stuff to your college life, your college dorm. Like, you can bring, like, a, maybe one or two shirts that have your school name on it, but you don't know, you, like, you no longer attend that school anymore, like, and you are at a college now, so you need to be wearing like college gear instead of your high school gear. You see what I'm saying? So don't try to bring your yearbook. You don't need it. Just leave all that stuff at home, like with your parents. Like leave your degree, I mean not your degree, your high school diploma, your yearbook, like your graduation picture. Like leave all of that stuff at home, okay? You have to leave high school in the past and step into college. Trust me. You'll see. Try to wear some high school stuff and it's whatever but just try not to bring a lot of high school stuff you can bring like maybe a shirt or maybe if you have like a picture of you and your friends from high school like your best friends or something do that but don't bring your yearbook and like stuff like that just don't bring stuff like that you don't need it and it'll be in the way like just leave that stuff at home because you never know what type of people are gonna be in your room like you don't know nothing some people might steal and take stuff and if they steal something that's very very valuable to you you know it's gonna hurt you you don't need that so just keep the most valuable high school memorabilia stuff at home. I thought it was like a spill but I had to make it clear to y'all what I was saying not to be like rude and then the last thing I have is just don't go overboard in your room in general so, you know, bring whatever you want to bring, whatever you feel like bringing, but just don't go overboard because your room is very small. It's really not that big. Um, your room, just imagine if you have like a regular size room, just imagine your room at home and just imagine two people living in your room at home. Like the amount of space that you have, like in your dorm, you only have like your side, unless you're in a room by yourself. If you're in a room by yourself, I know some colleges have that option then you know whatever but you have to really think about like you're sharing a room you're going to be in that room the whole school year it's not that big you don't want your room to be cluttered like you don't want people and friends to come over in your room it's like a hot mess and you just got stuff everywhere just bring excuse me bring like the necessary stuff just don't go overboard and you'll be fine i know it's going to be like an adjustment about like what to bring, what not to bring. You'll learn as you go throughout school because people's experiences are different. Some people might need certain stuff that other people don't need. I realized that I didn't need as much stuff as I bought and I like quickly tried to clear some of that stuff out of my room and like take it back home and stuff. But yeah, I hope this video helped you guys in any way. I hope it really did because I wish somebody would have told me stuff like this before I went to college, but I didn't have anybody, so I had to just learn on my own, but I want to, you know, help you guys. If you guys don't have anybody in your life that's, you know, helping you or if you don't know anybody that's in college, um, to tell you these things, I'm here to help you guys and tell you. But yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment and make sure you subscribe and turn your notifications on so you can know every time that I post, I will be doing a freshman advice video. So if you're a college freshman or if if you're like a transfer student, if you were in like community college and you're going to a university, this that video will be for you guys. I will try to get that up as soon as I can. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. So yeah, 
So thank you for watching my video and I will see you in my next one.